And I recognize the gentleman uh, from Utah, Mr. Chaffee. Uh, thank us. you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Secretary. I was going to ask about the 18 phone calls you made to Rahm Emanuel more than any other member of Congress, but we'll have to save that for another day. What I would like to ask you about is this idea that they, they're going to make profits. Um, I, I'm going to read two statements and ask you a question from Neil Borofsky's uh, testimony that's, that's coming up. First one is, quote, on, on page 13, Treasury's own TARP fund financial statement estimates that Treasury will not be made whole, but is rather projected to lose more than $30 billion on its AIG investments. Second quote later in the same paragraph, narrowly asserting that taxpayers will be, quote, made whole, end quote, on Maiden Lane 3, just one part of the AIG counterparty transactions, without mentioning the huge losses Treasury expects to suffer on other inextricably linked parts of the very same transactions is simply unacceptable. The American people deserve better. So my question, in, in hoping that you could respond to those two statements, is when you refer to profits from the AIG counterparty bailout, are you counting the cost of the $35 billion in cash AIG handed over to counterparties, uh, to the counterparties, or just the $27 billion they got directly from the New York Fed? Uh, Congressman, I think that uh, Mr. Borowski and I actually agree on this, and I said in my statement, I was very clear, mm -hmm. the government is still exposed to substantial risk of loss on its investments in AIG. The Federal Reserve, in this transaction, I think more generally, is unlikely to face any loss. That is a good thing. We should welcome that. But the government is still exposed to risk of loss. We don't know how large those losses will be. What we refer to is not a projection. It's just an estimate based on current market prices. But the really important thing, and I hope you will join us in this, is if we adopt this res financial responsibility fee, the taxpayer will not bear a penny of the burden for sounds what like we did tax to me. It doesn't under sound, the tarp. Sounds like a tax to me. And that, well, you can call it what you want, but what it is is a simple I call it principle. a tax, I think, and I, I wish think, you would too. I'd call it what it is. Well, you know, in the, again, in the law that Congress passed authorizing these actions, mm -hmm. Congress required the Secretary of the Treasury to propose a way to make sure taxpayers are held harmless. We did that. I hope you will join us in supporting that because there is no reason why the American taxpayers should be exposed to a penny of loss in what we did in AIG. We can make that possible. The gentleman's time has expired. Thank you very much, Mr. Secretary, uh, for your testimony. Of course, and now uh, you may be excused.